People Station V103, the ATL's number one for hip hop and R&B. I am McNabb. Hey, McNabb. And today we got somebody special with us today. I'm going to say um, entrepreneur, singer, songwriter. And most importantly, I want to say a role model to, uh, to young women and women, especially. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Fate yes. is out. How yeah. you feel? I lo I'm excited. Right? Yeah, I'm super excited for Fate. Been working on it for a minute? Um, actually, no. I did Fate over a year ago. Over a year almost, ago? No, not over a year. Almost a year ago. So let me ask you this. Um, you know, coming back from the love and hip-hop background, mm -hmm. uh, we see a lot of people in the studio. Yeah. Always, in, you know, working on music, but we never see music, really. How does it feel to really, like, because you're actually doing it? Actually delivering. <laughs> um, you know what? I just, I'm, I don't know. I just never think about it. I just do it. Like, yeah. Everybody around me always be like, oh, you, do you realize what you're doing? And yeah. I'm like, I, I'm so in it that yeah. I don't even, I don't even understand it. Like, I, I'm going to say, like, only Cardi B really just like, has music, like, from the show that mm -hmm. really escaped that, you right. know, that mode that they have on there. So how, and that's a big deal. Like, yeah. Um. She's definitely an inspiration, like, you know, watching her mm -hmm. go from where she's gone and actually beating all the obstacles and yeah. all the, and, you know, and not talk to her here and there. She's mm. such a, a such next. a good person. Yeah. Next. You know, and I, I look, I look at, you know, look at her as like, oh, wow, damn, she can do it. You know, I can do it too. Facts. Um, but it's, it's dope. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Um, let's say like when you first started you know to take music seriously mm -hmm. waka with that was he you know he's going to be supportive that's right. your partner but was he like are you, are you singing or was it like how was it his like his first thing with that hearing you come out um he didn't i really didn't tell him mm -hmm. um i just like i reached out to a friend um robin who mm -hmm. um from baltimore as well but she's married to rico love mm. and i was like hey i want to work with rico and she was like um girl what and i was <laughs> like yeah i want to work with him like i sing and yeah. she was like rico rico is like big yeah. a big deal yeah. like you you know you can't just like you know you pretty yeah. much like you just can't just jump to rico <laughs> so i was like i will see your video of me singing and you know just see if you'll work with me yeah and i sent her the video and she sent showed it to him and he called he was like wow she can really sing he was like you know if she's serious tell her book the studio time whatever and i was like Psh, you ain't gotta tell me twice right so i booked it and i um flew to miami mm -hmm. got a hotel room flew to miami i booked it for the weekend and we worked and mm -hmm. i thought first i think kisses was my second no it was actually my my first or my second song that I ever recorded in my life. It was like the what? first night of me being in the studio with him. What? That Yeah, that first night um, we recorded two songs and Kisses was one. And um, after that, he was like, only way I'll do this whole thing, he was like, is if you let me executive produce the whole project. Okay. And I was like, hell yeah. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that's the second song. He said Kisses the second. That, that was the the first or the second time I've ever in my life been in the studio. It all happened in that first night in the studio. Oh my God. So it was like my first night in the studio, my first time actually, you know, Facts. getting in there. He's just, Rico's just a genius and he kind of knows how to um, get things out of you, you mm -hmm. know? Um, I want to say this also with that, you're independent and you're doing it yes. and you're grinding and you're working and yes. you're hustling. How does that feel like to really just do it on your own without the help of a big label? Um, I've had labels come up to me, you mm -hmm. know, at the kisses um, went platinum. I had a lot of labels uh, hit me up and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But I'm like, hey, if I can do that by myself, then why we'll, we'll sign something? Right. Why not wait to drop the whole EP and right. see what I do then? Um, and it just feels I don't really know the music industry. So even when I went gold and my team, they're like, oh, my God, like you go. And I'm like, OK, like, what's that? <laughs> that's a big deal. Yeah, what you mean? Like, what? What? And then when they went platinum, it was like over 15 million downloads. It's like um, they were like, now this is crazy. And I was like, what is I'm like, I'm like, what does that mean? Yeah. And they and Walker's like, are you like, are you crazy. slow? Are like, you crazy? Like, that's crazy. crazy. He's like, crazy. people don't do that. He's At like, all. that's not doable. He's like, especially without a label like that. So I'm just now starting to understand, yeah. like, OK, I'm doing things that labels do yeah. by myself and I'm just doing it off my social media. Like I don't have, I don't have a PR. I haven't put money into the radio yet. Mm. I haven't done any of those things yeah. as of yet. And it's just organically moving by itself. And I definitely am like very appreciative for that. Okay. So why did the name fate? Why that name exactly? Um, it's funny because I was actually going at it with a few of my um, team, like, people that work on my team. Mm -hmm. And they're like, you got to come up with a name. You got to come up with a name. And I'm like, I kept telling them. I'm like, and then I kept saying it, Sean. I'm like, it's going to come. And they're all freaking out. And I'm like, stop tripping them. It's going to come to me. <laughs> and she's like, what the f 
does that mean? It's just gonna come. <laughs> like, what do you mean it's gonna come? I'm like, it's gonna come. And I was just driving. Yeah. And I I called her and I was like, yo, I'm naming the EP Fate. And she was like, she didn't give me no lip. She was like, that is fucking genius. Right. And I was like, yeah. I was like, this everything because throughout my whole process with mm. my husband, people know me from. Um, Love and Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. They know me from being Walker's wife. Yeah. They know me from my swimsuit line. They know me from the obstacles that we went through. Talk about it. Yeah, like no yeah. one knows me for even singing or knew that I could sing. I right. kept that hidden for a long time. Um, I kept that hidden because I didn't want to overshadow my husband. I didn't want, I, I just wanted to be the wife. Uh, I wanted to sit back and let him, Yeah. you know, I didn't want to try to feel as though I was trying to be with him yeah. to try to get this fame and all this extra stuff. Right. So I, I played my role as a wife, yeah, you thanks. know, and um, it was just my time. Yeah. And spiritually, there was a lot of things that we went through throughout our marriage, throughout me being here, mm -hmm. throughout like my journey period. I was prophesied too as a child that I was going to be doing these things. And yeah. for a long time, I lost sight of that. So fate was just like, a, a it's just like a string of super things events that are supernaturally you cannot mm. explain it's, it's it's for you yeah it's for you yeah <laughs> um and speaking about those lyrics so a couple of songs i had to talk to you about lose for instance yes so in the lyrics you say favorites. um still the same women you chose with time i done got a lot better thick and thin i was down for whatever must admit that i held it together bar <laughs> um, can you um elaborate on that a little bit what you mean by that and then the song itself uh lose yeah um Pretty much, um, there are some things that I went through in my relationship that I look back and I was like, damn, girl, you like, you went through that? Like, you <laughs> right? allowed that? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you not knowing that, like, I'm, I, my heart, I'm a, I'm a Leo. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm loyal to a fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm, I'm very family oriented and I love my family. I love to to provide, I love to take care. Mm -hmm. I'm very nurturing. I'm very domestic. Mm -hmm. So, um, as time gotten, has gone by all mm -hmm. the things that I went through, even though I hated him and I hated it at the time yeah. and even things that didn't involve him, as I look back, I'm like, I had to go through that in order to be the woman that I am today. Yeah. So with time, I've gotten a lot better. Yeah, I have. I've, and Thick and thin. I mean, I'm down for whatever. Like right, it is. Yeah. Like I am, and it's not just with my relationship, with my friends, with my career. Mm. I'm down for whatever it is. I always tell people with the music. I'm right now. I'm in training. I'm in like um artist boot camp, mm. um, which which you can call artist development. Yeah. I which people don't do anymore. Not at all. Not yeah, today's time. But yeah. I'm doing it because I don't want to. I'm not trying to beat the process. I want to go through the process. I want to earn my stripes mm. through everything that I've done. I want to earn mine. I don't. Even with my swimsuit line, when it came to love and hip hop, it was very prominent that I had let people let I wanted younger women to know, especially where I come from. I don't yeah. come from nothing. I come from that that, the slums. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I come from nothing. So I don't want other little girls to think, oh, she married a rapper. Oh, yeah. bam, she made it. Nah, because I could have just been married to a rapper and been at home and just been content. Yeah. Which was a lot of argument in my relationship because he wanted me to just chill. And I'm like, I don't know how to chill. I've been working and yeah. for, and taking care of shit since I was a kid. So mm. I can't stop now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and I got a lot of a lot of things that I love. Like I love fashion. I've been designing since I was a little girl. Like I've been singing since I was a little girl. Right. Like it's just and when he the only thing I needed from him I just say, hey, which was loving him, give me a, a platform. Give me all the thing I ever told him is you don't have to give me anything show me how to get the money and yeah, i'm good it, yeah. yeah like yeah. i just wanted a way and 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 that's pretty much with that like right. lose is way more than just my relationship like i actually wanted when i sung that song i was actually in the studio crying because i'm like how oh, oh, this song is so perfect i'm right because like, i feel like everything and you can ask my team it's like everything that i go through i feel like is even more it might sound crazy but i feel like i go through more than the usual like mm -hmm. It be the stupidest shit, but I promise you, it's like I face the worst shit. Yeah. I could fall down the steps before a big ass <laughs> event. I'll just like miss a flight. Yeah. I'll just <laughs> my fucking weave a fall. It just be crazy. I'm like, how the fuck is this possible? It just happens to me, but I'm so used to it yeah. now because all my life has been a struggle. I've never had it easy. Yeah. People might look at you like, oh, you're light skinned, you're cute, you can dress. I've never had that easy lifestyle. 
I didn't grow up with a silver spoon. Right. You see what I'm saying? I come from Baltimore. Like, what, what, like you know, it is. Yeah, Baltimore ain't no easy no, place to live. Nope. Shit, I grew up fighting. Nope. You know? Yep. So that's life. Um, I also asked you about I'll Stay Down. Um, you said, <coughs> cried all night, sleepless nights, countless fights. Guess love was only made for fools. Mm -hmm. um, so what are you, what's going on there? Like, are you, that's a real situation you're talking about. Yeah, that's, um, that, a lot of that, of course, has to do with my, my marriage, mm -hmm. relationships. Because um, a lot of times you go through stuff and you, after you go through, you be like, damn, I, that was just dumb. Mm, yeah. But when you're in love, you think it's dumb. But when you're in love, you just do dumb shit. Yeah. And it's just love. And like, you said that in the song. Yeah. So it's like, it's like, I'm dumb. They say I'm yeah. stupid as hell. Yeah, I'm stupid like, in love. Yeah, you know, I agree. Because we do stupid stuff when we're in love. But yeah. what what is stupid? Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what do you call stupid? What do you call dumb? Right. You can say all those things. But I always tell people, people are so quick to criticize um, my marriage and mm -hmm. say, oh, she, well, she took him back after this, then the third. Mm. If you look at couples like our grandparents who've been married for years mm -hmm. like I, for a long time like my grandfather was everything like to me i love my grandfather god rest his soul he was just him and my grandmother was separated for years but when my grandmother got sick he moved back in the house had a whole girlfriend she had a whole man he moved back in the house to take care of my grandmother because that's how strong their love was right. not even about even a commitment but more so a love deeper, yeah. it's deeper than that and my grandfather, my grandma told me, she's like, your grandfather was a hoe. I'm like, what are you talking about? I, I, granddad was sleeping with the lady next door. It's like, he was crazy. But you never know. You don't see those things. You just see the love and yeah. the growth. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You don't see the things that they went through when they were younger. I'm not saying sit around and take it. Only, I always tell every woman, you know what you can accept. Mm -hmm. You know when you're tired. You know what your value is. And you know that man and how that man feels about you. Yeah. And what he's willing to do. For his family mm. so yeah i've done some dumb things and i've i've accepted some things but i don't regret any of it because yeah. i feel like it was worth it um how has it been like you know traveling handling you know music studios handling your business but also trying to raise a kid at the same time like balancing all that um everyone asks that question and to me this is a lot it's just a you time management it. thing for me that yeah. that's the only problem i have is just time management other than that it's pretty easy because my daughter is she's just her she's mm -hmm. just her own little world her own little person she has her own little vibe like she's good yeah you know what i'm saying so i can take her anywhere with me um music just only thing that i kind of miss is mm -hmm. being a little bit more domesticated like i used to cook all the time so now walk and try to be like you don't even cook no more yeah, I, like, saw, I saw the know. ig videos be in the kitchen yeah uh, like i used to do that all the time and now i don't do it as much yeah and they be looking like you don't cook no more like you used to do this you used to yeah. do that so i have to try to slide back in and cook some stuff here and there but now he's vegan so it makes it even harder like he right. get, he goes in and out his little health food stuff yeah it's irritating. Um, <laughs> I see, like, also you and him, you guys are working uh, the show together and stuff like that. Yes. Um, is there going to be any additions coming along with the show? Because it's about you guys, your family. Any? Yes. Uh, you talking meet the flockers? Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I mean. Any new flockers? Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, but we yeah. want some new ones. Of course, we definitely, I think the world is waiting for us to have a baby. Every time I yeah. gain weight, they're like, oh, she pregnant. I'm right. like, Damn, I'm just <laughs> I fat. Saw, I saw it. <laughs> Can I be fat in peace? <laughs> But, um, yeah, so, like, I think everybody's waiting for me. Like, it's way overdue for me to have a baby right. uh, or two. But, um, yeah, right now I think it's just loving hip-hop just scratched the surface of who we were mm -hmm. and what we have. Everybody, it's, it's kind of, it's a gift and a curse. Mm -hmm. I always say that. I don't regret any of it, but it's a gift and a curse because we were on loving hip-hop when um, we were still growing. Mm -hmm. And my husband was still facing a lot of things. Like, he was still going through a lot. So, unfortunately, you saw... The, the thing that stained in people's head was the infidelity. The thing that stained yeah. in people's head was the things that he did wrong. But no one gets to see how much of a great man he really is. Like, yeah. it don't show that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, I think once people get to see who we really are and yeah. what we really are as a family, and they will understand, like, I see why she fought for her marriage. I see why he fought for his marriage. Yeah. I see why... You know, we're 32. We're young. young we're not yeah. even 32. We turn 32 in the next month, both of Damn. us. Yeah, he'd be 32 July, um, May 31st. I'd be 32 um, July 30th. And we're young. Like, you know what I'm saying? And we have, have. I mean, I could write a book about the shit that we've, we've traveled the world. We've done things. And we're still only 31 years old. Yeah. So 
and we're married, and we've been married going on five years now. So you tell me a, a couple our age who's doing the things that we're doing, holding shit together like we're holding it. Like, yeah. it's not easy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not taking up for any of the mistakes that he's made or mm-hmm. mistakes that I've made. It's just life. Like, people don't understand that. They don't see what's really going on. Like, my husband's the only man in his man in his family out of his brothers and mm-hmm. uncles, and he's the only one who's married. You oh, know, man. his mom, his mom, unfortunately, she never married. His father passed away and her, the love of her life was killed. Yeah. So she never married. So he took a step and he did something that he didn't even know what he was doing. But he, he was man enough to say, I love this woman and I want to marry her. And right. I'm going to try to figure this out. And I'm going to fight for right. the man that I want to be. Yeah. You know, so. <sighs> Because <laughs> on the outside looking in, you're right. Because we're like, oh man, flock. Like, you yeah, know everybody's like, like, damn, damn Archie, that's messed up. Like, like, yeah, you, like, but you know, and it's and it is messed up. Yeah. But it's still like, no one knows mentally what that what that man was going through, yeah. the things that he faced. Um, like I said, I guess the more ch- we we would have to write a book because yeah. the things that we've experienced. I mean, he 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 watched his. He didn't watch him, but he saw his brother sitting in a car. His brother killed himself, blew his head off. Mm. Like. He watched his best friend. He, I mean, he, his best friend got killed in the hype of his career, like in the studio. Like this all happened within years, like yeah. within a few years, like within like three years of yeah. each other. Like he's still providing and and moving and going, and he has this 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 girl who he loves, who he mm-hmm. decides to marry, you know. And and my daughter, who isn't biologically his, but he loves her, you yeah. know, like like it's his. This man carried a lot, yeah. you know, what I'm saying, and still does. And I was just, it, all those years, it was just me sitting there, like, and he was so used to being by himself and used to pushing people away and living this lifestyle that I was like, let me help. Yeah. Like, I just want to help. Yeah. Like, damn, like, I can help. Yeah, yeah. So now he's like, when that money started rolling, he's like, damn, she can help. <laughs> <Facts>. <laughs> she can help. Like, when T. Rivera started hitting and them swimsuits started rolling, he was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Maybe I need to dial in on what's I'm going on. I'm telling you, right? <laughs> um, so... Project is out, Fate. Yes, it's out right now. It's available everywhere. Show's coming out too. Hopefully, really soon. <laughs> um, what else do you got that's coming up? Something nobody knows that you that, that you I'm got, working on. That you're working on. Um, of course, I have my swimsuit line. Okay. That's out. Um, we have a new season that's dropping this year. A new collection. Mm-hmm. Um, which will be out by Memorial Day weekend. Um, also, I have my beauty shop open. It's called Vein. Oh. Is in um Marietta. Okay. We're actually cop. I'm, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, and that's another venture. I have a hairline coming out called Vane or wig line. Okay. Because um, I love my wigs. Yeah, they. I got I another day, but I like my wigs. The comments <laughs> and stuff like. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and whatever else, touring coming mm. up soon for me. They want to see you. Yeah, they definitely like. They're definitely. Um, they're definitely like the support is there. It's mm-hmm. crazy. They love the music and the R and B. So and more music. Yeah. I might drop a new another um. EP real soon. Ready to work. I'm just ready. Okay. I'm just ready to drop more content. Yeah, yeah. And what would you want people to take away from um, Fate? Like, what's one message they should take away from it after listening to it? I just, I hope every just any person listening to Fate. I just hope that they take that take away what they take from it is that it's okay mm-hmm. to go through what you're gonna go through. Yeah, it's okay to be angry, sad, happy, dumb, you know, whatever. In love, it's your journey that's it it's yours that was mine that was a piece of mine that's a piece of the things that i was feeling a piece of a little bit of my life Mm -hmm. but that's not who i am it doesn't define me it it defines a part of my life you get what i'm Mm -hmm. saying and everyone else can take a piece of that if it makes you whatever song that you listen to and you're like oh this song this talks to me because if i feel you know because of this reason Mm -hmm. then you take that from it i just want i just want people i just want that the ep to make woman feel empowered and yeah. good you know you got me they look i'm at, feeling it i'm like, <laughs> you, I'm like okay yeah because yeah, if i can go through it who am i like yeah. you can too right they say jesus went through it like, yeah. if he, you know who are we we all gonna go through our stripes it just society nowadays makes you think that everything you have to everything is so disposable it's okay yeah. to just psh, oh he cheated forget him Oh, he did this. He's not worth it. <laughs> well, who is worth it? Because none of us is perfect. T- tell him about <laughs> it again, please. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. But know your worth as well. Yeah. So you know what you... you they, us as women, we always looking for answers for someone else. But we know deep down inside what it really is. Yeah. Like We can ask you, like, girl, you think it's... But the whole time, we really know the answer. Yeah. <laughs> the honest truth. 
Okay, let them know your um, social media where they can keep up with you at. Well, you can find me on Twitter at MSLAME underscore 86. Mm -hmm. You can find me on Facebook, official Tammy Rivera. You also mm -hmm. can find me on Instagram. It's Charlie's Angel under, um, with three L's. Uh, my fate e is called my EP called Fate is out. It's available everywhere: Spotify, Google, um, iTunes. Mm. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, title title is everywhere. So you can definitely get that everywhere. Tammy, I appreciate you coming by. Miss Flame, you, thank you. You bossing you. up. I, you, know, you got me motivated. Yeah, I see it. you know, I'm saying get that money. You're killing it though. <laughs> You're killing it. You're really killing it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Make sure y'all be spinning my. We, we, we got, they, they've been asking for it. Yeah. They've been asking for it. So, of course, that's going to happen. Thank you.